Big weekend for movies. There are three new movies out this weekend. Uh, a little something for everybody. We've got the scary movie with Insidious 3. Now, this is the prequel to the two previous movies. Uh, we've also got Spy starring Molly McCarthy and, and the movie that I can't wait for because I hated the way the HBO series ended. So hopefully this will tell me what happened to all my boys on Entourage. If you're heading out to the theater this weekend, you be ready to smell more Axe body spray than you have ever smelled in one place in your life. Are you talking about Ronda Rousey and her fight in Entourage? Oh, yeah. All the bros are coming out to see Entourage. This movie looks good. I loved the TV show. Well, then you're going to love the movie because it's exactly like the TV show. Perfect. Right? There's going to be a sexy woman in a bikini in, in the first 30 seconds. Yes. There's going to be a sexy woman out of a bikini in the first minute. All right. Here's your plot. Yeah. Vinny's making a movie, but there's trouble. Wait a second. It that is like just like episode. the TV show. <laughs> but that's what we loved. It was consistent. <laughs> the one thing I'm worried about is that they're going to make Jeremy Piven's character over the top. No. That's okay. actually that's actually one of the best parts about the movie is that he's still Ari. He's still crazy. He's still wound up. He's still yelling and screaming and treating people horribly. But underneath it all, we know that he just cares, and he's going to do the right thing for Vinny. I have to say, this is one movie that they had to make because the series, the TV series, ended so badly on just a letting everybody hang out there. Well, and the funny thing is, they, they wrapped that up within the first, like, you know, within the first five to ten minutes. You know, because you remember, Vinny got married, and, and E was going to be a father, and we don't know what's going on with all that. That gets wrapped up pretty quick. Now, here's another question that I'm getting from a lot of people, because there there are quite a few people who never saw the series on HBO. So is this something that somebody can enjoy who has not seen any of Entourage? There's a big scene early on in the movie that kind of summarizes who everybody is and what their role is. So that catches up everybody who didn't see the TV show. Plus, let's be honest, this ain't War and Peace. You'll be able to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, right. I was going to say, I heard there, there are so many cameos in this. Yeah, and that, that's, the, that's the attraction to the movie is the cameos and also the bromance between all the guys, what they're willing to do to drive each other crazy and stand up for each other. Now, before you give us your uh, score, did you like the TV show? Yes. All right, because Kate and I loved the TV show. So what do you give it? I'm going three waffles. Yes. Nice. All right, let's uh, get to uh, one of Kate's type of movies that well, I will two. not be the seeing. Next, I want to see all three movies this weekend. <laughs> yes, but so. you're a scary movie fan, and I don't want to see a scary movie at all. All right, what's Insidious 3? Did you love it? No. I mean, it, it, it's a prequel to the first two Insidious movies, okay? Now, the, my thing is, I didn't like Insidious 2. Insidious 1 was scary enough. Leave it alone. Well, I'm with you. I mean, you know, Insidious, the first Insidious was kind of, you know, it was kind of unique. It was a little bit different. It was a little bit, it was a lot scary. And then in number two, well, you kind of knew what was going to happen. And, that, and then you get the feeling with that with number three. Number three is a prequel to the first two movies. We're, we're focusing in on a case that was handled by the creepy psychic from the first two movies, that, that Elise woman. And, and she's approached by a young teen girl who's been trying to contact her mother who passed away tragically a year earlier, but has opened the door to evil spirits and even though she's told don't you be talking to those evil spirits she does you don't talk yeah. to evil spirits yeah and bad things happen and we have to wonder will the creepy psychic be able to stop it and I, and you know i feel like if they had just focused in on the teen girl and her father played by dermot mulrooney and all the crazy things that are going on in their apartment that would be an awesome movie. But they try so hard to bring in the, uh, the, the, the psychic and tie it to the first two movies and try to you know, show you the, the, the things that you're supposed to pick up on if you saw the first two movies. I was like, who cares? Those are the least important parts of this movie. It just the second one I was confused in. Like I had to have. I'm like, wait, what? Who's tied to what? And oh, and I, if that happens, I'm like, okay, no, too much. Yeah, and I think you're going to get a little too much factor here. I'm going two waffles for Insidious. Okay, the most important thing about a scary movie was, did it scare you? Well, it does scare you. Okay. And, and it's, a great, I mean, it's a great scenario, because what happens is the evil spirits cause the girl to have an accident and break both of her legs, and now she's trapped in her bed. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and that's the scary part. Those are the awesome scenes. All right, and now the next movie I'm actually going to see on Sunday. I'm so excited to see Melissa I, McCarthy and Spy. I think this may be the best movie of the week here. I think you're right. I you're, think you're right. You it, sound it, confused. It, well, yeah, because it's really close to Entourage. It is a fight for first place here in, the, in our hearts. 
But yeah, it's Melissa McCarthy in kind of a part James Bond parody, part Melissa McCarthy movie. She plays the CIA desk analyst, you know, via kind of drones and satellites. She's the eyes and ears for Jude Law, who's a James Bond type CIA agent, even though he's British, <laughs> out in the field. And something bad happens to him. And the bad guys now know who all the CIA undercover agents are. They know their identities. So the CIA, because they want to get vengeance for Jude Law, and they want to stop the bad guys from getting a nuclear bomb, they've got to pick somebody who no one knows. And that's Melissa McCarthy. She just happens to be working there? Yeah, well, you know, she always wanted to be a CIA agent. (laughs) I love it. I hear this movie, and I'm guessing her husband makes an appearance in the movie. There is a cameo from the husband, yes. You have to. You have to. It's a, it's her thing in every single movie. I love Jude Law, and I love Melissa McCarthy, so I'm super excited about this one. And you will love Jason Statham as the very overzealous CIA agent who wants to tell everybody about his greatest exploit. I love him, too. All right, what He's do you, hilarious. What do you give and, and it? The, the movie is kind of, I think, maybe not the biggest laughs of the summer, but definitely the most giggles and the most consistently amusing. So how about Three Waffles? Time All right. Entourage and the Spy. All right. Thank you, Willy Waffle. What do we have next week? Next week, they've remade Jurassic Park, and now they're calling it Jurassic World. How about just Jurassic Abs starring Chris Pratt? <laughs> He's been working out. Oh, my God. He looks good. <laughs> All, All right. right. We'll talk to you next week. All right. See you next week.